Hi guys, today's video is going to be a rabbit diet video and I'm doing this video today because I've done diet videos for my tortoise, my guinea pigs, um, my dwarf hamsters and my Syrian hamster and I haven't yet got around to doing the rabbit video and um, that's just because um, the bunnies are in a shed outside so it kind of depends on the weather as to whether I can make a video. So I've been waiting for a nice sunny day so I can go out there and um, film it. So anyway, this video is going to be fairly similar to my guinea pig diet video because they do have similar diets. They're both herbivores, um, their teeth are both open rooted so um, they both need to eat a lot of hay and stuff like that. So um, I'm sorry if you've seen that, that video, this one's probably going to be quite similar. But anyway, I'll get on with it now. So the first thing that you're going to want to think about is water and rabbits should always always have access to fresh water and you can give this to them in a bottle or a bowl or as long as they've got constant access to fresh water then you will be fine. Um, rabbits tend to prefer drinking out of a bowl but um, they can also knock it over so I've got a bowl and I've also got a water bottle as a backup in case they knock their bowl over while I'm out and then it might be a while before I come back and check their water so they don't generally touch the water bottle but I've got it there just in case. Okay so the most important thing of all in a rabbit's diet will be hay. It's more important than vegetables and it's more, much more important than pellets. Hay is really really important, it makes up about 80% of a rabbit's diet and they can also eat around their body size of hay every day if not more. They need to have constant access to fresh hay and the hay needs to be quite good quality. It needs to be fairly dust free because um, rabbits are quite susceptible to issues with their respiratory systems but um, the hay needs to be kind of Timothy hay if possible but I find it really really hard to get in the UK so I use a good quality orchard hay or meadow hay or any kind of hay like that is fine but you also really want to work out which your rabbits eat the most of because it's really important that they like it because they're going to have to eat a lot to keep them healthy. Hay is really really important because it keeps their back teeth down and nothing else properly does this all the chew toys and the pellets and stuff like that it doesn't grind their back teeth down the same way that hay does and rabbits teeth are open rooted which means they constantly grow and they can grow up to 12 centimeters a year which is a lot <laughs> so they need to constantly be chewing on hay and if their teeth are left to get overgrown it can cause abscesses and eye problems and also it can stop them eating um, and rabbits need to constantly be eating um, otherwise they can go into gastrointestinal stasis which is basically where their system shuts down um, their systems are quite similar to guinea pigs in the way that they always need to be munching they always need to have things passing through their system to keep it going it can very quickly shut down if they're not munching on hay so it's very very important that they have a high quality hay at all times. So the hay that you get should be sweet smelling, it should be green, it should be dry, there should be no mould on it at all because the mould releases spores which can really negatively impact on their respiratory systems and it also shouldn't be too dusty. It should be preferably dust extracted but I know if you get hay directly from a farmer or anything like that it's not going to be dust extracted but you do need to check that it's not too dusty. I also use ready grass as a treat sometimes but I don't think anything like that should ever replace hay because hay is such an important part of their diet and also alpha alpha hay can't be fed to rabbits over six months um, because it's too high in calcium which can cause sludge. It's fine for pregnant or nursing rabbits but you really, really want to avoid feeding alfalfa to adult rabbits. So the next important thing in your rabbit's diet is going to be vegetables. 
and it's recommended that rabbits have about a cup of vegetables each every day. Um, but this kind of depends on your rabbit because some rabbits have problems with their digestive systems and too many vegetables can give them diarrhea and things like that. So it does depend on the rabbit a bit but um, both my rabbits seem to be fine with vegetables. They get about a cup a day but like I said um, it does depend on your rabbit so you want to monitor this and um, see if a cup's too much and if it is just cut it back a little bit and see how much that they they can have and it's not going to upset their tummies. And I'll put a rolling list of vegetables, of some of the vegetables, but they can have a really, really wide variety of vegetables. So I'll also put a link to a, a safe vegetable list um, in the description bar. And I'll also put a link on screen somewhere um, because I've got a video on suitable vegetables for rabbits but like I said they can have a huge um, a variety of vegetables so I only touch on a few in that video. Um, you can also give them a little bit of fruit um, maybe once a week as a healthy alternative to shop-bought treats and also if you're bonding with your rabbit or taming them then they're going to really love you if you've got a small amount of apple or something like that but apple and fruit generally is high in natural sugars and rabbits don't need much sugar in their diet at all so it's not good to be feeding them too much fruit and also vegetables like carrots rabbits absolutely love carrots but they are very high in natural sugars so they shouldn't be having them like on a daily basis they should only really be having them as a treat they can also have fresh grass and weeds and things like that but you do need to check that what they're eating is okay for them because they've been domesticated they don't know what's good for them and what isn't they'll just eat anything you give them so you do need to check that it's all right for them and you also need to check that there's no pesticides or fertilizers or anything like that on the grass that you're feeding them and you also can't use lawn mower clippings because as the lawn mower cuts the grass it can leave kind of fumes and things like that on it and it's just really not healthy to be feeding them that so you would need to pick it um, you need to introduce new vegetables slowly um, because they do have delicate digestive systems and you don't want them to get gas <laughs> which can cause bloat or upset tummies or anything like that. Um, the vegetables should be preferably organic but if they are just supermarket vegetables make sure you wash off any pesticide residue or bugs or anything like that. Um, if you're feeding lettuce and things like that, you do need to make sure that it's not iceberg lettuce because it contains no nutritional value for rabbits and they're going to be filling up on something that isn't going to do them any good and it's so watery that it can cause diarrhoea and things like that. But they can have loads and loads of different vegetables. They can also have herbs and weeds like dandelion. They can have a huge variety of things, but you do need to check that what you're feeding them is okay. And a very small percentage of the rabbit's diet should be made up of pellets and they, sh they only need about an egg cup full of pellets a day. They only really need a very small amount. It's not very important in their diet at all. And I know it's tempting if you buy a bowl to fill it up but it's not going to do them much good having that many. It's only going to you know, it can cause obesity and, and then they'll be filling up on their pellets and not eating the really important things in their diet like hay. So I know it's tempting and your rabbit will probably sit by its bowl and make you feel guilty. So I give my rabbits half of their pellets in the morning and half in the evening. Um, so it kind of keeps them going. In the morning pellets will keep them going all day and then I give them a little bit in the evening to keep them going till the morning. But what I do is I take out their bowl when they finish their pellets so they can't pick up their bowl or anything like that or sit by it and make me feel guilty. Once they've had their pellets that's it and then they can have a good munch on hay which will be a lot more beneficial for them than munching on pellets all day. So I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions you can always ask me. Um, I try really hard to get back to everyone who asks me questions about their animals and um, I'll also leave some useful links in the description bar and I hope you enjoy
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Hop along to our Facebook page so you can keep up to date as we post competitions where you can win loads of prizes for your pets. See you soon!